Hi, I'm Michael Neurock, and this is a swing within a trend sell uh, example as an aggressive trade type on the one hour time frame. Uh, the overall trend direction is just displaying a blue bidirectional arrow, no more than three arrows are pointing down. This is the example we're looking at. Um, the previous swing went, well, the position went against it, or price went against the position to start off with, and then uh, made some profit. If you had locked in profits at that stage, you would have been okay and avoided the uh, the uh, the argy bargy. But this one, a uh, a move has been set up as a swing trade. The trend has already occurred. But if we were looking at uh, at a swing, getting in on the market on the swing trade, we would be looking here, and that's the close of the candle prior to the arrow being displayed. Of course, Trend Profiteer alerts you to all of these uh, signals, but uh, here's the example just so you can see for yourself. And of course, the more you practice, the better you'll be as a Profiteer trader. So uh, blue overall, sorry, blue bidirectional dis arrow uh, is being displayed. It makes it a bidirectional uh, market, uh, which allows aggressive uh, trade types. The trend follower is red. The yellow moving average is below the gray moving average. Price is equal to or below the the yellow moving average. RSI is 50 or below. It's below 50 in this case. And with the MACD, we've had two green histogram bars below the zero line, followed by the red histogram bar that gave us the swing signal. And that's all we need to look at for the criteria for these rules. Um, it doesn't need to be below the signal line just as long as it's below the zero line. So let's have a look. Whoops, just come back here and bring the crosshairs up. If we had placed the stop, well, normally just above the, the slow moving average, I like to give it a bit more room. It wouldn't have been needed in this case, but, um, but sometimes it does. So say 20 pips for your stop. And uh, right here, we would have hit a one-to-one -one reward to risk ratio at 20 pips, uh, 40 pips hit here, 60 pips giving us a three-to-one reward to risk ratio hit here, 80 pips hit ah, back here, and all the way down to just over 100 pips giving us a five to one reward to risk ratio. So for the 20 pips we risked, we were able to generate 100 pips, so just over 100 pips, giving us a five to one reward to risk ratio. And that concludes this example for a swing sell uh, trade as an aggressive trade set up on the one hour time frame. Till next time, good trading, live well, and I'll see you soon.